the Holy Spirit speaks to any and everything if you're just open to that, that still small voice, right? So I'm standing in my bathroom mirror and I'm doing my hair. And while I'm sitting there trying to do my hair, there's this little net. Uh, could have been a mosquito. I'm going to call it a net. Um, just flying around, irritating, taunting me and tormenting me, right? Uh, and I'm frustrated, like, yo. And we, we all know that they follow the light, right? So everywhere, every room that I go in, every whether I turn all the lights off and I just on my and I'm just on my phone, it's it's following the light. Now it's all on my phone, just taunting and tormenting, right? Um, so I'm standing there in the mirror and I'm like, yo, this has to die before I get in my bed and like call it a night and I'm on my phone, you know, I know how we do, uh, before, we, before we go all the way to sleep, I actually, um, I read the word, um, before <laughs> when I'm ending the night. So that light on my phone is on while I'm uh, decompressing. And so I'm like, babe, little baby has to go before I get in the bed because I don't want that thing flying all over my phone, like just taunting me. And so I'm waiting for it to land on the mirror because I'm like, as soon as it landed, because we all know, like, they usually go and they uh, land on the mirror or something. I don't know why, but um, because I didn't do the research, but I'm waiting for it to land on the mirror so I can just zap it, like, so I can kill it. And every time it would land on the mirror, I could never get to it quick enough, right? Because I'm trying to do my hair at the same time. And I got a little frustrated because I'm like, we're, you know, I couldn't get it. I just left it alone, finished doing my hair, tied my head up, whatever. Um, and I'm like, I stopped thinking about it for a second. Stopped thinking about the fact that I couldn't find it or whatever. But in the back of my mind, like, I still know, like, this little thing, this thing has to die before I get in the bed for the night, right? And um, right when I get up, finish my hair and tie my head up, I look over to the side of me and I see it sitting, like just laying on the wall. And um, it just happened to, I don't think it's a coincidence that it just happened to be in arm's reach where I can zap it, right? And so I did, I, obviously I don't want to have to kill it with my hand, but I got to do what I got to do right now because the opportunity is presented itself for this little thing to die, right? Um, so I reach over and I just zap it and it's dead. Like I don't have to worry about it, think about it or whatever. And God was just showing me how the enemy comes like, like the way it came through. I don't even know when it got here. It can't had to come through the door when I came in the door. Um, but I never seen it come in, right? That little thing, something just sneaks its way on in the door and starts taunting and tormenting us. Um, and had it landed, my God, had it landed on the mirror, on my mirror, um, it would have left a smear, a smear of my handprint, um, or whatever I used to kill it with. Um, because that, that, that mirror is reflecting us back to us, right? Um, so our mirror is reflecting you back to you. And if I hit the mirror to kill the bug, whatever, that thing is smeared. There's a smear. I have to, there's a smear of it on my mirror. And then I got to try to clean it up to try to make sure my reflection back to myself is back clear without this smear on it. Right. So had it landed on the mirror, I would have, my, my image of myself would have been deterred, right? It would have, it would have, uh, left a bit of a, of, of how I'm seeing myself off, right? But God, it didn't, it didn't happen like that. It ended up being on the wall, some on the side of me in a, in a way where I was perfectly positioned to, all I had to do was reach out and kill it. Um, because it had to die. It like, it, it couldn't, it could no longer stay in my home, um, and taunt me everywhere the light was, was at. Right. And so in John 10, 10, it says the enemy comes to steal, to kill and to destroy, but Jesus comes so that you may have life and have it in abundance. Right. Also have light and have it in abundance. Right. And so, when we when we think about that that thinking about and and being mindful of knowing like 
what we like, even when we are not paying attention, we don't even see how something snuck in and got into the door, the door of our minds, the door of our hearts to taunt and torment us. Right. And if we are just mindful enough, focused enough in, in a moment where we're not even thinking about it, it can be perfectly positioned in a place for you to immediately kill it. It has to die immediately. Right. Just to reach out and bop, <laughs> you know, even 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 the, the fact that the Holy Spirit speaks so gently through something so small as this, something that um, it's quote unquote normal or something we would expect or experience throughout life, how there can be a story be- being told through that and how the enemy comes and taunts and torments everywhere that the light is. Everywhere that the light is shining, right? And we ain't got time for that. Not only do we not have the time for our images to be distorted and have to try to clean that up so that we can see ourselves clear, but we don't have time for the taunting everywhere we try to move and maneuver when there's light, you know, when we're trying to, you know, get stuff done or whatever, you know, do whatever we need to do and the, there's light. We like, don't nobody got time for the torment, right? Um, so I just wanted to share that, you know, stay focused, kill it immediately. If that, that small thing, right? If it was big, if it was a cat that ran up in my house or um, some type of animal, a squirrel, anything, we could I, we could visually see that and know like squirrel got to die, right? <laughs> cat got to die. But something small, something you don't even, you, you didn't even see it come in when you came in. It, you didn't even notice how it, it, it slid itself right on through that door, right? Because they're not that visible. Um, so the fact that it just slid like that through the door, not not being not even realizing how something whew, the door of our minds, the door of our our hearts, um, the door of our eyes, what we, what we even what we are looking at in our day to day. Right. And through our ears, because our ears are a door as well. Um, being mindful of what we are, that, that little small thing that we are letting in that door to start coming to taunt and torment us. It's it's a no, right? So we're, we're going to kill that thing ASAP. Um, and w- when we stop focusing on the thing that we need to kill and how it's taunting and tormenting us, God will perfectly position it in a way to where all you got to do is reach out and zap it. And it's over and done. It is finished. In the, in the words of my God, Jesus Christ, it is finished. All right. I love you all in real life.